In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create shoelaces or text out of shoelaces in GIMP. Um, your end product will look something like this. See, there's a shoelace and there's some text that looks like it's made out of shoelaces. I like this because I made it up by myself um, and I thought it looked pretty good. So first off, you want to open up GIMP. I already have mine open and you're going to create what I call an X brush. Now, if I made another tutorial called uh, something like creating brushes in GIMP. Um, follow that tutorial for more details, but right now you just want to make a brush that looks like an X. So you're going to I'm going to go over it quickly. You're going to make a new image 50 by 50. Click okay. You're going to have the white square. You're going to have your paintbrush tool at a size maybe bigger than this. Big. I guess 45. You're going to click in one corner, hold shift to get a straight line, and click in the other corner. Do the same thing on the other side. And there you go, your X brush. You're going to click File, Save As, and save it as .gbr or GIMP brush, and then move it to your GIMP brushes folder. Follow my other tutorial for details. Now, um, now you're going to I'm going to X this out and you're going to make your new image so click new and I'm going to use 640 by 400 pixels and I'm going to click OK now fill it in with a bright color um, you don't really have to it's just so that the shoelace stands up stands out better I'm going to use maybe a nice turquoise color I never used that before uh, there we are brighter than that. Okay. Um, and fill the background with your bucket fill tool. Now you're going to select your shoelace size in your paintbrushes tool options. I think I'm going to use size 50. And choose your brush to the X brush you just made. Um, and you're going to uh, you're going to make a path using your paths tool that is in the shape of what you'd like your brush to be your your shoelace to be my bad and you're going to by clicking and dragging on the lines they will become curvy so they're not straight anymore and they look more like shoelaces because have you ever seen like a a straight shoelace that has just a couple of joints I haven't if you have then you're weird and Okay, um, so anyway, you're going to create your path that's curvy, and what you're going to do is click Stroke Path. And this little dialog will open up, your Stroke Path dialog, and the default will be Stroke Line, but I want you to click on Stroke with Paint Tool, and make sure that Paintbrush is selected as your Paint Tool. And click Stroke, and you will have this sort of shoelace effect. Now what you're going to do is you are going to oh whoops my bad undo that make sure you click your layers dialog which you can also open by going to windows dockable dialogs layers but make make sure that you go in your layers doc dialog and click this little page icon and you will make a new layer make sure that it's transparency and click OK now you can stroke the path by going to your tool options and clicking stroke path with paintbrush. So now you have your giant shoelace. And what we're going to do now is make those little bumpy things that come out of the end of shoelaces. They're called egglets and don't ask me how I know that. I'm I'm weird that way. Um we're going to make that because it wouldn't be a proper shoelace without it. What you're going to do is click any other tool and then click your paths tool again and you're going to make a path that looks like the egglets. So you're going to click somewhere in the middle of the end of the world, no, of your shoelace and you're going to click farther out just where your egglet would be. Then over here you're going to click again somewhere in the middle of the end and farther out. 
Now you're going to have this big line across here, but that doesn't matter because we're just going to erase it afterward. You're going to go to your brush, your paintbrush tool, set your brush to circle 19, and your scale to... Actually, you can probably keep it at 50, 0 0.50. That should be fine. So now you're going to go to your um, your paths dialog, which you can also open by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Paths. Right click on your path, on your egglet path, and click Stroke Path. Make sure it's set to Paintbrush. Make sure your foreground color is set to Black, and click Stroke. Now you'll have your stroked pattern, and you're going to use your eraser tool. Make sure on your layers dialog that your egglet layer is selected. So you're going to erase everything that's on the green part here. See, the stuff that's on top of your shoelace doesn't matter because in the next step we're going to get rid of that. So in the next step, you're going to take in your layers dialog your egglet layer, click on it, and drag it below your shoelace layer, and it'll be back there. Um, behind the shoelace. So now things are looking better, but your shoelace is cubic, which is not good because shoelaces are circular. So what we need to do is on the end, make these sections more round and less excellent. So you're going to take your smudge tool at a size around, maybe a bit bigger than this. I'm going to use 50, 0 0.50. You can zoom in a bit and you're going to just smudge oh make sure that your lace layer is selected and you're just going to smudge your shoelace into the proper shape so get rid of that X and you can even smudge from the outside in to give it more rounded corners like that smudge out this black X you can Make sure that it's here, and smudge in, and what this does is it, it extends your black line. Just curve it up at the end, like so. And here we have a more realistic shoelace. You can go to your water drop tool, I call it that, but it's really blur slash sharpen tool. And you're going to go to sharpen, set the rate a bit higher, maybe around 70 and click around here and it'll make your colors a bit sharper so they don't look as blurry and it looks more like it matches the rest of your image and repeat this for the other side I'll just cut out for a second and come back right about now and I'm back as you can see I've blurred sharpened smudged all of that stuff onto my laces so now they look more like laces and less like square whatever you want to call them. I can't think of a word right now, but that's not important to the tutorial. So, moving on. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your Layers dialog and right-click on your top layer and click Merge Down. And what this does is it merges the layer, um, the lace layer and the egglet layer together. So now this is all one layer. If you click on the uh, eye, then it disappears together. The eye represents the visibility of a layer. So now, what you're going to do is we're going to move on to the text. So, select your text tool and type your text. 